Hey, I'm Chris from Wild Crest. And I'm Martin. Well, I think, you know, in, in our shows, they're learning about the world. You know, they're learning about different animals, different habitats. And um, one, educationally, what we try to do in our show is, is teach science through animals. So our educational theme is animals can take you anywhere in science because no matter what science concept you're talking about, whether it's chemistry or physics, you can find an animal out there, a really cool animal that uses it in its daily life. For example, peregrine falcons use the force of gravity to be the fastest animals on Earth by just basically dropping from the sky like a rock. So what we're doing in Wild Kratz is that we're having these stories with adventure and slapstick comedy and even bad guys, but our world is the natural world and all our rules are the natural rules and the characters are real animals. So whatever you're learning in our show, you're learning something that you can take away into the real world. Oh yeah, well when you you know all of our shows we in the past we've done because we're fascinated with animals and we as kids never got enough you know information about animals. So that's why we did Kratz Creatures and Zabumafu, you know, just to go out there and explore the animal world and meet all these amazing creatures. But when you have your own kids, you start thinking, "Oh, I want if my kids going to spend time with media, I want them to get something out of it. So really Wild Kratz, we, you know, we, we kept that in mind as we were developing Wild Kratz that for the half an hour or, or hour they watch a show, if, if they're watching a show that has some kind of like, um, like content that means something that they can have fun and have a break watching, but they can also without even knowing it, have a great takeaway that they can apply in their own lives. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, there are a lot of amazing creature powers uh, out there, but I think for me, maybe it would be a creature power that would take me into new places, places that I couldn't really go as a human, like maybe an elephant seal power or sperm whale power where I could dive really deep in the ocean that, you know, we can't even go with submarines right now. Yeah, I love gecko powers with their amazing ability to use ele electrostatic forces to climb. You know, that'd be cool. Or, of course, Peregrine Falcon to fly at those speeds and just, you know, I mean, Peregrine Falcons are everywhere in the world because they can fly anywhere. You know, it's just, they're amazing creatures. <laughs> yeah. Geckos lick their eyeballs. Yeah. That's what they, with the kids watching our show are trying, like, ah. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, you know, we've done a few shows now, and each one, each one is different, and a lot of them use different, different forms of media. You know, we, like we've had live action shows. This show is is largely animation, and each one offers a different thing. Um, you know, and, and and it's all great. I love getting out there with the animals and seeing the animals and filming them. Um, and um, when we start a show. We will have an animal subject, and the amazing thing about this show is that I always find myself learning something new. For example, we did a show on walrus. You know, you know the basics about walrus, but I never knew that they had this this organ called a pharyngeal throat sac that they could blow up inside their necks, which created an internal life preserver. So basically, they can sleep on stormy Arctic seas and just float there, just bob there because they have a built-in life preserver. So that was something new I learned making the show, and we can always teach kids new things. And then they yeah. teach their parents new things, <laughs> you know, which is fun. <laughs> Well, the Twitter party, the Twitter party when we launched the Lost at Sea um, special was really fun. It was the first time we'd done a Twitter party, but it was really nice to, you know, chat with people and find out, you know, get information and see what they were liking. And, you know, it was a great time, you know, and we have a Facebook page and our, our website we're really into and we have, uh, we're trying to take the learning experience of the show and put it into our interactive games on our website on pbskids.org slash wildcrats. No. Yeah. 
pbs.org slash kids. PBS, pbskids.org slash wildcrafts. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and, uh, and basically, you know, on the site, what you do is you go there and you earn your own uh, creature, you get your creature power suit, you, you create an avatar, and you go playing, going around playing educational games focused on different creature powers. And every time you reach a competency level in that game, you earn that power for your suit. For your avatar and so kids are really enjoying that we have a new uh, app out now um, that you know is also contains you know great fun educational games so um, we're really enjoying that side of it too Well, that's we're getting a lot of letters and a lot of emails that the kids and parents are looking for Wildcrats toys, and you know, so so we're working on that now, um, and it's just really a way to. Well, maybe we might be toys. It's a way to extend. <laughs> you know, it's it's uh, you know some action figures with different animals, and you know, it's just there, there's so many fun ways to extend mm -hmm. like. The, the, the spirit of Wildcrats and the learning through through toys and, you know, more of, through video games and apps and websites. So we're very excited about uh, keeping going with Wildcrats. We just started our third season. So right now, uh, 42 episodes have aired. 18 more episodes are airing this year in 2013. And then we're in production on 26 more episodes. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're Thursday working season. on it and, right now. And uh, Wildcrats is now airing all around the world. Um, you know, in Canada, in um, all over Latin America, in Germany, in the in Asia, on Discovery Kids Asia. You know, so yeah. So we're speaking a lot more languages now than we used to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, we worked with a bunch of uh, designers and just tried to find like kind of a simple, you know, graphic style form. And one really, we didn't we, we didn't want it to be too realistic. You know, it was finding that that balance yeah. between realistic and the graphic style. You know, this is for the animals as, as well. You know, the, and that just works better for the style of show it is. You know, the the, the comedy mixed with adventure, and we wanted it to be real enough. To show, to be able to show the animal behaviors, but simple enough to have a, a comedic feel to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just you know, one thing we encourage kids to do. You know, this one of the most gratifying things about kids watching our show is that. They want to go, after seeing our show, they want to go out and have their own creature adventures. And so uh, we encourage kids and families, you know, to go together on creature adventures to their local parks, you know, to local zoos and aquariums. And, and out into the wild. And that's why we end each episode saying, um, keep on creature adventuring. We'll see you on the creature trail. <laughs>